Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. Take me away. I don't mind. You just better promise me that I'll be back in time to review Transformers 2020 Collaborative Back to the Future Gigawatt, or as it's called in Back to the Future the film, Gigawatt. What the hell is a Gigawatt? This was a surprising find at my local GameStop. I swung by there the other day with my son to pick up a Mario plush figure for him, and sitting on the shelf is this guy just looking at me, and it was an immediate pickup. At first, I had no interest in getting this figure, but look at this. I love the Generation 1 style box, how they've got the vehicle displayed in there, Back to the Future there on the back. This, it just screamed to me. I had to get it. Plus, I love the Back to the Future movies. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging, or a slow down quick look since I already kind of went over that. But here you've got Gigawatt in robot mode. You've got the time machine, the DeLorean right here. Gigawatt, Transformers, Back to the Future, 35th anniversary. Man, I'm getting old. And of course on the side, you got more of that Generation 1 style look, which looks great. Back to the Future right here. Now, what's really weird, it like has an extra flap right there. I, I just find that odd. It's like an extra piece that goes over this section of the box. But... Oh well, on the back of the box, you got Back to the Future, 35th anniversary, a file card. This looks so cool. So let's see if this figure has more than just the power of love to make it a fantastic figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. You're about to see some serious shit. <laughs> Now, once you get Gigawatt all open and out of the packaging, you'll see it does come with a sheet of instructions. And unlike the Siege and Earthrise instructions we've been getting, these look a little bit different. They have a blue tint to them, but still, they're very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also gets his hook, which unfortunately was a little warped inside the package. And it's kind of made of a rubbery material. And you also get his blaster. And this is really cool because the blaster separates into two. So you have the gun here. And this is Mr. Fusion. Let me turn around the other way. Mr. Fusion. You know, the power source at the end of Back to the Future, the film. And Mr. Fusion will tab right in here, right on the back of Gigawatt. Now, it doesn't tab really securely. You kind of got to make sure it gets on just right. I don't know what the deal is with this. It just does not want to stick, at least on my copy. I may have to take some floor polish and fix it in there. Let's see, turn around this way. That way it sticks a little better, but in the film, Mr. Fusion is supposed to face this way. So let me try to, I just, I just don't get it. This is one of my little complaints with the figure is the Mr. Fusion just doesn't attach. Just does not stay in. It's going to 
fall right out. So we're going to put that to the side. We're not going to worry about Mr. Fusion. And now we're just going to take a look at this time machine. This looks great. They did a fantastic job on the DeLorean. And what really impresses me with this is the paint applications. I mean, look here on the back. All the wires are painted, the details right here with the red. Even on the back, you've got the tail lights, the out of time license plate, paint applications here on the wheels. I actually, for a bit, thought those were rubber tires on those wheels, but it's actually the paint applications. That is really, really cool. You got the, let's see, it's a soft plastic with the wiring that goes around the vehicle. I love this. They did a really good job with the time machine of course it's licensed by universal so i wouldn't expect anything less rolls really good so i dig it i mean i love this this is one of my all-time favorite sci-fi vehicles i mean this thing is awesome another complaint i have is you look through the window here it's nice and tinted but of course glare from my light you can see all these robot waffles underneath that really takes away from the vehicle. Not so bad here on the side, but that looks like crap. Hopefully Toy Hacks can come up with something to fix that. But other than that, I love this vehicle. Now the before mentioned hook, it can attach right here in this hole. So you've got the look from the end of the first Back to the Future movie where he's going down and has to catch the wire for the lightning. But like I said, my hook, is warped so it's not perfectly straight another feature and it doesn't stay in very good either is the tires can actually fold down like so so you have the flying mode from the end of back to the future so that is really cool as well i dig it this is a great vehicle and a great homage to the back to the future time machine now let's go ahead and get gigawatt transformed into robot mode and he's actually, or this figure is actually a remold, retool of Siege Sideswipe. The transformation is very similar. What we're going to do first is underneath the vehicle, you're going to take these panels and flip out like so. And then you're going to take the doors and just like the time machine in the film, the doors will flip up. Just like that, you can unpeg them. You can do that in car mode. To really you know kind of display it like such but you're going to see robot parts there on the inside now once this is done you're going to flip the back of the vehicle over this is going to form the robot legs take the exhausts or thrusters push these in these will release the robot feet and just bring the feet down and then close these sections up and pull the legs apart so you're pretty much done with the legs going to rotate this top right here. Now underneath, you've got these little panels right here behind the tires. You're going to flip these down. They peg in pretty tight. So you're going to flip these down and around. Do that here on the other side. That one's not as bad as the other. Door keeps falling down. Now you're going to take the arms and swing them out. Now you're going to take the tires here and you're going to rotate these in like you did for flying mode, but you're going to bring them all the way in. Just like that. Now we're going to take the hood section and you're going to fold that over. And then right here, you need to flip this section around. And this is pretty tight. Let's see if I can get it. I'm always afraid I'm going to break this. You want to push toward the robot itself to get flipped around there we go it'll pop loose you got to watch the head and get that flipped around like that snap that into place bring the hood section down make sure those wheels are out of the way bring the hood section down forming the robot chest it's going to tab in right there and now with the arms there's a tab here you can see it tab right there that's where the shoulders are going to tab into place. Get those lined up. Fold out the fists. And there we have Gigawatt in 
robot mode. And this is a pretty cool little figure. He's kind of more bulky than I thought he'd be, but he's still pretty cool. That tends to flip up. That needs to be down like so. Taking a closer look at Gigawatt, I love the face sculpt. That's really cool. He's got these scientific goggles on. Down here on the chest, you've got the flux capacitor right here in the middle and the time circuits with the dates. Great throwback to the original film. Not many paint applications with the guy other than that, but still there's a lot of great details. Down here on the knees, he's got some molded in flux capacitors, more molded in details there. And that's about it. He's just mainly gray and black. As far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint, can do a complete 360 and look up and down slightly. He's got a little bit of wiggle here. The arms can go up and down. They can also do a complete 360. There is an elbow bend. There is an elbow rotation and no wrist rotation. We double check. Yep, no wrist rotation. Waist, waist can do a complete 360. Legs up and down, in and out. There is a knee bend. There is a, let's see, no knee rotation, but it does rotate up here at the thigh and ankle tilt. So really, really cool. On the back of the figure, a little bit of a backpack because of the wings, but of course you can fold those in like so. Now the accessories, the hook here has a peg right there so you can attach it to his forearm. That's where the instructions show to put the hook. So you can put it right there. Or as I discovered, there's a hole right here inside the door that you can peg that in so he can store it on his back, if you so choose. I'm not a big fan of the hook, so I'm probably not going to display my gigawatt with the hook. Now, as far as the weapon's concerned, we'll take the weapon here. You got Mr. Fusion, the gun, and you just peg Mr. Fusion onto the back of the gun, which secures a lot better than vehicle mode. Place the gun in gigawatt's hand. Let's see, I gotta make sure this is right. The flat section of Mr. Fusion needs to be on the bottom of the gun. That way it will fit flush against his arm. And I'm still wrong on this. Okay, maybe you turn it sideways. I had this earlier, right before I start filming, of course. No, it's just not gonna fit flush no matter what you do. So we'll just put it like that, put it in his hand and we'll call it a day. The gun just doesn't fit flush. But there we have Gigawatt, all armed and ready for battle. Gigawatt's weapon is also blast effect compatible. So punch in a blast effect right there. Figure that's an appropriate one for Gigawatt. So now he's opening fire or sending some Decepticons back in time. A really cool figure, and I'm so happy I picked him up. And now for some quick size comparisons, here's the Transformers 2020 collaborative Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Gigawatt with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, War for Cybertron Siege Sideswipe, and Playmobil's Marty McFly, Doc Brown, and Einstein. The Transformers 2020 collaborative Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Gigawatt figure is an amazing toy. This is a great figure for those of us who are not only Transformer fans, but fans of the Back to the Future franchise. Gigawatt's vehicle mode is amazing. The attention to detail is just near flawless in my opinion. Once again, thanks to the fact that Universal gave Hasbro the license. My only complaints with the vehicle mode, I wish Mr. Fusion attached a little bit better, and I hate the window that you can see all the robot parts and junk through. That really should have been darker or maybe not even clear plastic at all. Robot mode is also great. I love the details on the chest with the time circuits and the flux capacitor. The face sculpt looks amazing. The posability is great. I mean, this guy is awesome, and I couldn't be happier that I found him out in the wild. So there you go, guys. The Transformers 2020 collaborative Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Gigawatt. Wow. 
So, does a Transformers 2020 collaborative Back to the Future 35th anniversary gigawatt figure belong in your collection? Absolutely. I mean, great Scott. If you're a Transformer fan and a Back to the Future fan, how can you say no to this figure? This is an awesome toy. It's got a fantastic vehicle mode, fantastic robot mode, just a few minor issues, but it's nothing that's too heavy. Now, honestly, I can't decide if I want to display him in bot mode on my shelf or put him back in this awesome packaging so he can go on my Back to the Future shelf. I have a few Back to the Future items. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. I mean, Dylan and I went as Marty McFly and Doc Brown on his second Halloween. I've got the Back to the Future die-cast Jada miniatures. I just picked up this pretty awesome Back to the Future Playmobil car. That is sweet. So yeah, I, I have no idea how I'm going to display him, but he is highly, highly recommended. And I really can't believe I was originally going to pass that up. So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf. Don't drive 55, hit that 85 and pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. And guys, I am like eight subscribers away from 7K. So if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button and help me out. I will be eternally grateful. And once again, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!